night, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Hey, what's up, you guys? It is time. Welcome back to the time we said welcome to Until Dawn Part 1. This is Part 1 of Until Dawn. I titled the last part Part 0, as that was basically just the intro to the game. And here, here our main character, I think this is Beth right here. I know this isn't Beth. Beth and Hannah died. I don't know who this is, but I think this is Beth. The guy in the video. Hey. you guys all back this year um first off i gotta say i am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual blackwood winter getaway <laughs> so um let me just let you know uh let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second Absolutely. i know you're all probably worried about me and i know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year but I just want you Oh, yeah, they were know, sisters. Um, it means... It means so much to me that we're doing this. And I... I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For the sake of my sisters, and you know, okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this yeah, one trip porn stars. we'll let's never go. forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Woo! Part one of Until Dawn! Let's see how long I get this series going for. Five, five episodes. I'm gonna try and get this series done because I love. I want to be one play this game for a long time. So I'm gonna try my best to finish this series out. Top it out, even if I get scared. But I am so excited for this game, guys. Ridiculous. Hannah and Beth died in a very the, the, well, the zero part of the episode. Who's gonna die in the next few episodes? Well, I mean, I hope no one else dies, but it's inevitable. It's inevitable someone else will probably die. So. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Alright, let's go. Bro, what the fuck? Already? Damn. You just showed up. We already bought the other head. Cut the fuck off. Hey, it's Sam, Hannah's best friend. She's diligent, considerate, and adventurous. I like her already. I think this is our main Hello? character here. Someone there? Mm, Bro, I like the girl being rocked. Path to cable car station. Everyone's being watched. I only feel like somebody's watching me. Tell me who's watching. I only feel like somebody's watching me. What's it really say? What? The gates busted. Climb over. Really? Up on you, I'm trying to uh, I don't know. Someone trying to get buzz. Let's just go quickly. Oh fuck! I was not. I was not doing it. All right, here we go. Let's try and go. Uh, climb, just climb. Where? 
We got there safely. We know that it's down safely. Girl, be careful that you don't fall. Damn, she gonna be blocked for that side too. To the house we go. Look at the footprints being left here. Oh god, this is exactly why I'm infatuated with everything about this game. Don't move. Alright, that was I did okay in that part. Now I'm sure if it was a more of an intense part where like a monster game, I probably would have been like moving and shit. Probably got my ass killed in the very first part. Alright, that didn't scare me. The birds flopping. What's the sign say? Can I read it? Oh look! In indigenous, oh god, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, even though I probably already know what it is. And butterfly prophecies tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy death, black butterflies prophesied to the dreamer's death, danger, red butterflies warn of dangerous events, loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedies and affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune. White butterflies brought brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Alright, so we gotta look out for these colors. We got black, red, brown, yellow, and white. I'm sure I'm not gonna remember all of those colors and whatnot, but... Oh, this is a yellow one. As you explore, you can discover t totem artifacts. Picking them up and turning them will reveal the color of the... I mean, this one looks yellow, right on the back. So, alright. Alright, Raymond, do your thing. Oh, look, there's a bird. Guidance. Alright, so follow the bird. Follow the buzzards. Oh, look, there's the bird. This is the prediction in the future. Alright, so I guess uh, these are the birds. Oh, you can't really expect them. Okay. So this is when Beth, Beth and Hannah died. And this is the bird. Alright. Where are we going in here? Door's locked. Come on. So I gotta go around. Hey, look, it's bag. I can pick this bag. Not in the bag, are you? This is the bag. It's a real tough one. Girl's always trying to go through the guy's phone. Close the bag, close the bag. Uh, every decision that I make will change the narrative of the game. So, oh! Boy. Sneak up on Mega as well. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so. I haven't seen that yet. Gonna blow your mind. Like the mind freak, Chris Angel? Ah, uh, yeah, the mind freak. Mind freak. What's this? Ooh, the Milgram Victor. The male, six foot two. Last foot seen here. First degree arson offense. Isn't that the guy that was like breathing fire earlier? Oh shit. Oh man, that's probably the guy trying to kill us. Should, uh, be red, right? 
What? Shooting range. Uh, Michael Bell is this dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Try. Uh, no, you go ahead. All right. Here goes. All right, so we're just... Maybe we'll our aim will improve if we do that. Yes. Got it. Woo! Right on point, baby. That's it. Got another can. Boom! Wow, nice I know, I'm such a great shot. Right. I'm bad. I'm getting lean tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and get this wild I don't think so, girl. Hey, look, it's the squirrel again. I'm not shooting that squirrel. We don't kill the innocent. That squirrel is innocent. We're not killing that squirrel. Yeah, this is so funny. Hey, sharpshooter, right? Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. There's the bird again. Butterfly effect update. All right. I guess uh, since we didn't kill the squirrel, our story's changing up. Maybe we should have killed the squirrel. After all. I'm just kidding. Hopefully, the squirrels come back to like bite one of the cords to the cable cars and we fucking die or something. I think that might happen. I hope it doesn't. Yeah. The door was like the first time you came out here. They found people sleeping in the station. Creepy. For you. Oh, real gentleman. Real gentleman, he is. Super slug. Too bad he has a crush on Nasty, not that girl. The whole hotel ten for him. For a healthy body and mind, so this be a hotel. What a cool. crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Only mountain. Mountain on a hotel. But it looks appeared that way. Finally, have you coming? I don't know. I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. It's just like going to the prom. Looks like a prom with a cable car. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. They better not die from that cable car that's like it's collapsing or something. I feel like the cable car is going to collapse. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, right? It's kind of weird. No, no, it was a really good idea. I bet everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Bro, yeah, friend zone. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened. Enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know, trip how to death. You know, third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. 
but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh, I mean, nice. We're friends to this day. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years earlier, on that day, <laughs> I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or Ooh. we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Hey, he just named out the butterfly effect. I mean, it is true. I do think... I do, th I do believe in, like, certain things happening. Like, if, if like... Maybe if I didn't, ooh, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, and irre, irreverent. I, wait, irreverent. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I do believe in a butterfly effect where, you know, maybe if I wasn't playing this game right now, I would probably be getting a lot something more productive done in my life. No, I'm just kidding. Girl, what the fuck? Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Let's get the shit out. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, thank you, Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um... Explain. Mike and M split. Together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Oh. Tough Alright, alright. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know. Whoever. Uh -huh. Whoever. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. I know, me too. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like a pretty crew here, guys. Here's Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Alright, I just don't like this girl already. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Won't you stop? Don't fuck! Stop! <laughs> Damn, jump scares. I hate this guy already. Intelligent, driven, persuasive, and a fucking asshole for jump scaring me like that. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Always get like what? Excuse me? Ooh, I should tell him the fuck off. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him off. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. 
I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Just like a pair of balls. All this. But, but, yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda uh hot -huh. when you get all alpha, you know that? Hmm. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Oh. Why? All the bags. I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I'm not leaving you alone. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. No, back at the protection. Oh, it's dark outside. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why no, can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um, this girl. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. There's already and he just started. Oh. Hey, it's Ashley. I have a crush on Chris. Is he academic, inquisit, inquisitive, and fourth and fourth fight. Four, fourth right. Fourth right. All right, there we go. Cannot pronounce it for you, shit. And I don't like this. I'm about to get jump scared. I don't like this. I feel it coming. Whoa, hello. Hey, look at that. Somebody's getting a look at them. They're not in the friend zone, kind of. Bro, I don't like this. I think I'm about to get jump scared right now. To the other guy, I thought he was talking to him. It's okay, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, let me check it out. No. Uh, 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 no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. No, nah, that girl's being a bitch. Expose her. Uh, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Let yourself out, I guess. Expose her! Expose her! Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Matt about to get down and knock his ass out. I would. I just told this guy off. He gonna start talking to my girl again? Yeah. Check file. Because it's 2017. Put your hand where I can see it. We've got you, Sarah. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab the snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hit him! Hey, that aim was on point. Hey, you know, girl. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Hit her. Oh, ah. Woo! Once again. Wait, oh, oh dog's it. Should be an export. I live. Why do they keep on wanting me to hurt nature? 
I'm not gonna hit the bird. Hey, Mike. Everybody's like, oh, hit the squirrel, hit the bird. I'm like, what the fuck? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not hitting the bird. He better chill. There we go. I'm about to hit that guy right in the face. Whoa! Oh. Right. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Ooh. Gotcha. Done. Done. City. So what about the dual items, no? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, there's no problem. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Yes, sir. I just hope that dude's really in love when he ain't playing both sides. For later, buddy. Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Well, not well. Well, no, I hope you might breathe to death somewhere between those quotes. Getting juicy up in here. Oh, the cable car made it. So they're gonna die. Oh, we got this guy again. Hello again. And how are we? Fine, I guess. Seems we're hard to scratch the surface. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up a book, turn a page. Really? Push My name is all our nature. Some symbols. I want you to identify which image in each. I wanted to have a see. I wanted to talk to hear that. I don't know what he's saying out there. I don't even know what the guy said. Damn. Men worry me or women worry me. Ugh. Ooh, they want to be sexist and be like, women worry me? I don't know. Women can be, women are a hard case. But so are men. Come on, little woman. Damn. What the fuck is going on down there? Plain scare me. Proud scare me. I mean, there aren't that many accidents that happen on planes, but there's a lot of accidents that happen in crowds. I'm going to go crowds. Heights or drowning? Both of them hurts. I mean, if you fall from a height, you could die. But if you there's no one around to help you, you can drop. Mm. Heights. I mean, honestly, I'm not that scared of heights, but I'm not that scared of drowning. I mean, as long as you know how to swim, you shouldn't be scared of drowning. Uh, I got, I, I probably go heights. I fear really tall heights. It's not heights in general, though. Rats or snakes? Snakes don't scare me, but I just hate the I just hate the look of rats. Let's go. Turpage. Knives are scary or guns are scary. It all depends on who's carrying the weapon. Guns aren't scary, but a man carrying a gun can be scary. Knives aren't scary, but a woman wielding a knife can be scary. That's the only thing that gets gets me. Oh, probably someone with a knife. Like I said, it's the person carrying it. I fear rats or I fear cockroaches. Cockroaches, both of them are disgusting, but I'd say I would 
hit rats a lot more. Just from experience. Oh yeah, definitely clowns. We want to see it in the story. Gore disgusts me. No, gore, gore, uh, lots of blood, kind of, but not like. Mm, well, gore is lots of blood. Crows don't scare me. Probably, I, I guess I'll go with gore. Oh. Well, bro, what are you doing? So I'm so sorry. You do asshole. Okay, I guess. Alright, fine. Spider? Oh, definitely spiders. I'm allergic to spider bites. I'm not really scared of them, I just don't want to get bit better. Needles or gore? Ooh, uh, needles. Zombies or cl clowns? I watch too much walking dead to be scared of zombies. Worlds or needles? No, I have a dog. I don't fear dogs. Fear needles or storms? Sounds of storms would be scary, but probably needles. I don't fear needles as much as you guys it seems like it does, but I just hate getting them. That's all. Again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. All right, all right, guys, thank you all for watching this gameplay. That was chapter one. In the next video, we'll be getting into chapter two. I can't wait for it, guys. It's getting intense. We're about to make our way up to the lodge. Previously, on until dawn. Alright guys, that was it. We're gonna see you guys in the next episode. I love you guys. Yeah, stay tuned. Alright, peace out.